With all the world forecasting the complete capitulation of the European Axis, our heroic wounded, the men who made it possible, enter the Veterans Memorial Opera House in San Francisco. The immediate question is the admission of Argentina to the parley. Ezequiel Padilla, Mexico's Secretary for Foreign Affairs, spoke for the South American Republic, which had signed the Declaration of Chapultepec, Code of Hemispheric Solidarity. Foreign Commissar Molotov argues against the inclusion of Argentina. His plea in Russian is interpreted to the delegate. The made by the Soviet delegation with regard to the question of, of Argentina is that this question, the discussion of this question, should be postponed for a few uh, days in order that we may be able to study. It's the only request made by the Soviet delegation. Tinius, head of the executive and steering committees, followed by Anthony Eden, speaks in favor of Argentina. Ladies and gentlemen, I plead with you to reach a decision in this matter and act now in order that we may get on with our sacred task for which we have met. Uh, those in, in favor uh, of the admission of the Argentine in accordance with the terms previously uh, agreed at our steering committee this morning, will please stand up. Heads of delegation. 31 delegates vote for Argentina, one of the hardest fought questions of the conference. Those against, heads of delegations, please stand up. Only Russia, Yugoslavia, Czechoslovakia, and Greece voted to defer the admission of Argentina. Arriving in Washington, Oscar Ibarra Garcia, the newly appointed ambassador from Argentina, is greeted by South American and United States officials. World unity and security will soon be an established fact.